Hi, this is Jeff from the uh, Sequest podcast, and uh, today I'm going to be doing a little bit of an out of box review on the Sequest DSV Stinger model. Let me uh, just uh, get this here. This is um, this was released by Monogram. It's a 120th scale model. Uh, it's a Stinger. So this was uh, that little ship that uh, Lucas had built in the uh, first season. Kind of a uh, kind of a competition slash government contract for some kind of like one man kind of probed uh, little um, uh, vessel, I guess underwater vessel. Uh, so like say this is this is going to be the first Sequest model I'm going to build. Um, I've got a few others I'm going to build as well, but I figure I'm going to uh, tackle this one first, um, and, and then the other two uh, after. I, like say I, I do a bit of modeling here and there. Um, like say. I'm trying to get my skills back up, so I figured that if I'm going to start on a Sequest one, I'll start on this one because um, there are a few other Sequest models I have which I would uh, like to get my skills up a bit better um, before I tackle those. I've got, of course, I've got uh, also to the uh, Sequest, um, the actual Sequest model. Uh, I'm kind of looking forward to this one. This one's in one six hundredth scale. I'm looking forward to doing this one down the road. It looks like the uh, paint job uh, on really not sure how I'm going to tackle that. Um, I've seen a few uh, things on, online on how people have done theirs and um, I'll, I'll kind of over the next you know probably a year or two I'll, I'll figure out how to how to approach this one. Also we've got this uh, deep ocean uh, transport as well too. Uh, looking forward to doing this one. I'll, I'll probably do this one after I do the stinger. Um, I kind of like this one because it's got some kind of bright, uh, vibrant colors like the yellows here and all that, which I'm kind of uh, excited to do. Um, like I say, so this is one I'll, I'll do after I do the uh, stinger. Uh, like I say, so we'll we'll see uh, we'll see how we go. I guess um, how long it takes me to do the stinger. But uh, this podcast or this this video, I should say, is all about. Uh, about this Stinger uh, model, and uh, I'm sorry I've, I was meant to do this a lot longer, but uh, eh, like anything in life, things come up, and uh, I just uh, didn't get a chance to. Also, I kind of wanted to uh, kind of uh, clean up um, my work area a little bit as well too, and um, and kind of get uh, get ready for this. So uh, I apologize for the uh, messy work area. Like I did tidy up a little bit before I started this video, but. Uh, as you can see, there's it's still a little bit of clutter on the on the desk here. Uh, so what can I say again? Like say what I, I said before, this is uh, released by Monogram. I believe this is. Um, let me see what it says on the side of the box here. Um, Monogram in 1994. So this model is uh, is like over 20 years old. So um, to be honest, uh, I'm expecting that it's. Uh, It'll be a lot of work getting this thing to fit together and look good. So uh, like, I'm expecting that uh, uh, it's going to be a challenge to, to get to look good. Uh, like say models today are, are much uh, much much nicer to, to put put together and all that. Uh, these models back from like the 80s and 90s I found, which I've, I've built a few, uh, they they always seem to have kind of fit issues and and things like that. So I'm I'm expecting that this one will have some fit problems and. Uh, Probably have to get it all, uh, you know, worked up and all that kind of stuff. But, uh, anyways, uh, I'll show you a bit more about this. Like, say again, here's the um, the box. Here's the artwork of this stinger. Again, I like, say it's uh, from Monogram, uh, skill level two. I guess uh, originally, I'm not sure if you can see this. Originally, it was uh, fifteen dollars. Um, I bought this off eBay. Um, I don't believe I paid fifteen dollars. I may have paid fifteen dollars after. Uh, you bring in shipping and all that kind of stuff, but I think when I bought this, this was pretty cheap. I think it was like 10 bucks or something like that. I think I actually bought this in the um, Deep Ocean Transport. I think I bought both of those at the same time, actually. So um, There's also a, mo a model for uh, Darwin, uh, which I wouldn't mind getting someday, but uh, uh, I'll keep an eye on it. I, it's not one I want to pay a lot of money for, so I, I'd probably try and just get it for a real cheap price. Um, again, it's a 120th scale model um, some of the stuff that they say on the side they have some pictures here of the model um, they got uh, a picture of the, the model on its base and then a picture of the uh, kind of the, the pilot 
inside the model, another picture from the back view of the model, uh, more artwork on this side, and then they're just talking about the other uh, models here. Um, like I said, we got the Sequest, which I showed you I have, Deep Ocean Transport, which I got, and then maybe at some point I'll, I'll try and track down this uh, Darwin um, model as well. I see it on eBay every once in a while, so maybe I, I can, like I say, I don't really want to pay a lot of money for it, so if I can find one for, for, real, for a real old price, I might jump on it. Uh, nothing on the bottom of the box, um, again, yeah. So, I guess... Uh, I'll just read a little what it says here on the side. Uh, Sequest Stinger. When the Sequest comes under attack and rapidly deploy, a rapid deployment is necessary, the troops are sent out in their stingers. These are one-man underwater motorcycles are quick and maneuverable. This model is 11 and 3 quarter inches long, 29.8 centimeters, and is molded in dark blue. Includes a pilot figure and a display base. I kind of disagree with this uh, statement because I'm not I guess that's the intention of the stinger, but I'm not sure we ever actually did get to see the stinger in this uh, kind of this usage. But uh, I digress, and I'm going to um, crack this thing open. It's never been opened <laughs> in 20 years. It's still in there at the wrap, so uh, I'll be cracking this this sucker open right now. So uh, it's a little puncture hole here. So hopefully that doesn't mean that uh, something happened with the model here, but. Uh, Let's get her open here. Okay. Get this old cellophane wrap off of it. Okay. Throw that in the trash. Put our knife back. And again, here's the box. And let's uh, open it up here. And see what we've got here. Okay, um, first we've got a little monogram catalog offer. Whoa, this thing is, you can see it's all kind of yellowed and all that, so quite old. Hey, <laughs> maybe I should fill it in, <laughs> send it in. Send $3 check or money order to this card. Get a catalog. Oh, wow. Okay, so, anyways, um, we've got uh, some uh, ships here, so, uh, helicopters, and some jets. Uh, P-51 Mustang, which is kind of, that's a little cool ship there, but uh, we're not going to worry too much about that, I guess. We're building Sequest models, not uh, not uh, airplanes and uh, helicopters. Uh, okay, let's kind of look in the box and see what we've got here. I'm not sure if this, see you turn on the light here a bit. Um, hopefully that doesn't wash everything out, but uh, we'll go along here. So first off, we've got the base here, and... Um, be honest, I'm not sure if I'm going to use this base. Um, I, I kind of like my models more with just kind of a simple base. I don't like these kind of environment uh, pieces, so I might um, kind of look for one of those kind of round two kind of uh, black bases. I think I show you one here. I guess I think I got one. Yeah, like so I'll just maybe look for one to uh, use one of these. Maybe I think I think can order these kind of round two type kind of bases which got a little uh, little kind of post. I think I'll just get one of those and I'm going to uh, maybe use that instead of this this base. I just don't I don't really like the, the environment. It looks uh, I don't know. I don't really care for it but uh, we'll see. Maybe I'll try painting it up later and see how I feel but I'm pretty sure I'm just going to get one of these these round two type kind of bases. Go with that. What do we got here next? Okay, we've got the clear part. This is kind of the canopy here. Um, so, show that to you. Looks like there's a bit of a smudge on it, maybe. So, I actually, yeah, it's a little rubbed here. I actually watched a video online, uh, uh, YouTube videos, and they showed some, uh, they actually showed kind of buffing this stuff out. So, I'll have to review those videos again when I get to that point and uh, see if I kind of, kind of clean up this. Uh, I guess it's to be expected. It's been sitting in a box for, uh, you know, 20 years. So I guess, I guess it's expected that this thing will get a little few scuffs. But I think I could probably polish that out. It looked like when I was watching these guys polish it out with all, which was much worse than this. Uh, they were able to get it work, get it back to a real nice uh, shape. So, so I'm going to um, look at that. But yeah, for the most part, it looks all right. Um, 
part looks pretty decent. Uh, it doesn't look like there's much uh, like flash or whatever. We gotta get this little piece off in the front, but uh, besides that, uh, it looks okay. Okay, so what do we got here? Okay, so this is kind of the main ship. There's not a lot of parts here, but uh, let's uh, open up the bag here. So we got kind of the uh, cockpit here, and you know what, I'm really excited about this cockpit to be honest with you. Um, because uh, I like that uh, how it's kind of set up here, you can do a lot of, uh, looks like you can do some nice painting and things like that in here. So I'm kind of looking forward to getting this cockpit set up. And you know what really got me excited about this cockpit? There's, there's, there's no real grooves for the uh, pilot, because um, to be honest, you know where I was talking, I don't really like the base. I'm not sure I really like the pilot either. I'm not sure if I really want to put the pilot in it. I think I just kind of prefer to have the, the ship displayed unmanned or instead of the pilot. Um, uh, as well too, like say my modeling skills are, are kind of, uh, they're just starting out so I'm not sure that I could really uh, paint up the pilot all that well that he would look very good in the in the model. It's a, it's a larger size figure which is nice. So I'll give that, I'll give it credit for that that the figure is a bit larger so at least if I want to try it uh, you know like you're not working on these little really tiny tiny little men but I think I'm just gonna leave the uh, leave, leave it unmanned and not bother building the uh, the pilot or painting him up so like I say so I'm kind of excited uh, how this uh, cockpit set up it looks like it's got a lot of uh, a lot of little control panels and all that kind of stuff so like I say, it looks like that's a little bit kind of fun to kind of get in there and kind of detail these up a little bit and all that kind of stuff. I wish I had better skills that I could uh, light this thing, but uh, I'm not going to light light this one. Like I say, I'll, I'll wait till I get to the Sequest and, and light that one. But uh, like this one, it looks like it'll be a little fun. You know, like the cockpit is, is kind of nice, nice and large too because you're so used to like working on, uh, at least for me, working on some of these other ships which are so much smaller. And uh, like I say, so it's hard to get in with the details, but this one looks like um, probably can get in there and do a real nice job job with the details and all that kind of stuff. I'll have to look online and see if there's any kind of like painting guides or anything like that for the, uh, this as well. I highly doubt it, but uh, you never know. I'll have a look and see. Um, again, it's molded in blue. I'll, like uh, everything, um, like I say, I, I will um, have to prime this and then repaint it. Um, like say, because because uh, you've got to fill in the gaps and things like that too. So that's the cockpit. Uh, what do we have next here? We have um, one side of the um, of the stinger here. Um, looks like this would be the uh, I guess the port or starboard. I'm not sure. Unfortunately, I don't know. But uh, anyways. Uh, Looks like uh, we got one side. It doesn't look like there's a lot of pieces to this model, actually. So I might be able to put this together rather fast. It's got a little, um, it's got a little, uh, little s kind of uh, sign here uh, for the Stinger here. It says uh, Sequest DSV and Stinger. So you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna paint that up really nice and then see if I can't mount it to one of those round two type kind of bases. Um, here's a little kind of uh, yoke, I guess, for the uh, for the Stinger. So. That looks kind of fun. Like I'm gonna be able to uh, to kind of paint that up, and then these look like they might be part of the uh, propulsion system, possibly at the back of the the stinger. Uh, we'll have to see once um, once I get the parts out. I guess we can look through the uh, instruction guide after. Uh, we got the head for the pilot and his arms. Again, I'm probably just gonna not bother with those. Like say, I, I don't. I'm not really a big fan on. Uh, on, on making these men, um, like say, I think the ship, like with my skills, will look better without a pilot in it. Let's put that down. We've got the other part. Like I say, there's a, not a lot of parts to this uh, model, so it should go together. Uh, it should be a quite pretty quick um, build, I guess, uh, if I stay myself uh, focused on it. Um, looks like we got some fins here. The other part of the uh, the body of the ship. These look like the uh, thrusters in the back, so um, 
I noticed these ones before, they have a kind of a nice chrome, which I'm uh, kind of looking forward. I bought some chrome type paint, so see if how, how I get those done. Um, more little fins. Um, yeah, like I say, this doesn't look like there's a lot of uh, a lot of parts to this model actually, so not a lot to exp explain here. So, uh, like I said, I'm really hoping that it actually won't take very long to to build. Actually, I'm kind of uh, kind of surprised there's a uh, so few parts. But uh, on one hand, I'm a little down about that. But on the other part, I, I'm not really down about that. I go, oh, this might be a nice kind of quick build, and uh, you know, like I said, all hopefully it all go go together uh, relatively easy again like I said this model is like over 20 years so I'm expecting that the fit is going to be a, a bit atrocious in spots so um, that's where we'll bring in like uh, some kind of like putty like say we've got like this uh, fills and gap seams and, and uh, invisible seams and creates invisible seams so uh, this is some of this uh, perfect plastic putty I saw this actually on a, another uh, video cast and they were uh, suggesting this so um, when I was at the um, hobby store a few weeks back, I, I bought it. I also got some um, this uh, white squadron putty, which uh, I might use as well uh, on this. Will depend. Uh, apparently, this stuff is supposed to be really good. This perfect plastic putty, uh, so I might uh, stick with that more than this uh, this uh, squadron putty. But we'll see. And then I got this uh, bondo to this. Uh, red spot putty which is uh, I don't think I'll use it for this one uh, it depends on how big the seams are but uh, this one's more this one's better for like kind of smaller gaps and all that because it it can kind of crack if there's some um, if there's any movement in the joints and all that kind of stuff so uh, we'll see I might I doubt I'll use this this is probably more for like if you want to do some real fine seam work or whatever then I, I might use this but uh, we'll have to see when we get get going on the model here um, so yeah it looks like we just really got three spru sprues or four sprues I guess with the base so not a lot of parts here so let's just put those back in the box here okay. fit the box there fella Looks like all the pieces, like that little puncture in the front of the box, didn't look like it caused any damage here. Then we've got some um, decals here. Uh, looks like we've got some little markings for uh, Sequest markings, UEO markings, and uh, and uh, Sequest. Uh, those are kind of cool. So hopefully they go on okay and they're not dried out. Uh, I've got some decal set solution, and then we've got these black uh, parts to the. Well, let's look at the box here. Uh, okay, I think these go on the. Uh, these go on the uh, the cockpit here, so uh, or on the on the glass um, glass area. So we'll have to see how that goes. Maybe um, I don't know. I guess we'll have to see if, we, if I want to put these. Uh, these decals on that or if, if it's better to paint them I'll have to kind of I'll have to look and do some research online on it and see what other people have done uh, you know, I say we'll see I guess uh, probably better to put the decals on but we'll see okay and then the instructions here so um, they're showing some uh, the stinger is fighting it looks like some sort of pirate here some pirate ship a little skull and crossbones so uh, looks uh, kind of interesting uh, pursuit submarine All right. let's open up the pages here okay hull assembly read this okay here's the uh, color guide here this is kind of the paints they're saying you're kind of going to need a brown a black a dark gray a light gray a flesh silver steel white yellow dark blue Blue and green. Okay, I think I've got all these uh, colors. I bought um, what did I, I bought this uh, this blue a few weeks ago in anticipation of this, but I'll have to see if this is a uh, if this blue is, is close enough or not. It's a model error because I got my airbrush. So I bought it. It's called an intermediate blue. And it looked like the darkest blue I could find when I was at the store, but uh, we'll have to kind of see. Um, 
we'll have to see and see if this is uh, close enough or not uh, or if I'll have to get something else but uh, we'll, we'll have a look okay so I got the whole assembly so it just kind of goes together and I got a couple uh, paint guides um, And then they got here the cockpit, light gray panels with black instruments and red details. Um, yellow, black. So they got us having to do this kind of, um, let's see the, oh, that's, wow, I'm not sure how a person's going to do that. They want you to kind of paint in the yellow and black into these. That looks pretty fine, actually, so. I have to check and see if maybe there's some, some decals out there, or maybe I can create some decals possibly too. I might do that in, in that case, because I'm not sure I can, uh, what, how fine those are, uh, I'm not sure I can, uh, yeah, if I'd be that precise, you happen to paint some real fine lines there, so, so but we'll see. Maybe just tape, tape it off or something like that. Uh, we'll have to see. Uh, like, so I'll have to do some research online to see how some other people have approached this. I mean, fall after that, and they've got kind of black and red, and uh, you know, I got I got to look at some other people's as well. I'm hoping other people have had built this up, and then we'll go off that. So that's the interior assembly. The next page, they're talking about the uh, the pilot. I'm not going to bother with the pilot. Uh, we got the control, the kind of the yoke here, and. Uh, they got that as dark gray and black handles. Uh, we'll have to look. I'll have to look on the, uh, on the. Um, I'll have to watch the episode, kind of see, see, see what colors it is. See if I can. Like I say, it's not going to be perfect to what the episode is, but I'll, I'll have to see and see if I can get somewhere uh, close to it. Um, then we've got the uh, thrust pods here and uh, the thrust nozzles. Uh, so I'll paint, paint those up, uh, kind of a steel color. I think I've got some steel. Uh, like I say, I'll have to look and see what I've got, and I might have to make another trip to the hobby store to uh, get some uh, more paints, but uh, we'll see. We'll see what you got. This, this thing's got kind of this, it was kind of inspired by Do by Darwin, I guess, you know, because he's such a big fan of Darwin, you know, so he's real kind of dolphin look to it there. And then we've got uh, the fins here, uh, and silver... You know, some light green, yeah, okay, green and uh, green and red, they're kind of the the, uh, the beacons on each side of the uh, navigation beacons or whatever, which you see on, like, uh, a lot of um, ships and all that kind of stuff, and, like, I'm a big Star Trek fan, so you always see it on all the, the starships and all that, they've got the green and the red, so that's kind of uh, cool that uh, this also has it, so, uh, like I said, I'll have to touch those up, that, that's really cool, and then, um, then we've got the, uh, we're talking about some. it looks like, oh, we got to break some uh, little tabs off here. And then this is the decals that they're talking about. Um, we got this intake nose. Uh, like I say, not a lot of pieces here. Clear canopy. And then the last page, uh, the base, which, uh, again, I don't think I'm going to, uh, not gonna bother with the the base, like say we'll see, but I I'm probably just not gonna do the base. I don't I don't really like it, so so I probably uh, skip that. But uh, they even got some uh, suggestions on how to uh, play, paint the plaque, so uh, that will be uh, interesting. <laughs> yeah, they got to paint the sequest in uh, in yellow and uh, the name, and then. Yeah, that'll be interesting to, to paint that little plaque as well, too, and see how it goes. Like I said, I think I'll, I'll get one of those round two bases and mount it on that. So this is the Stinger, it looks like. So that's, that is it. Um, so I say uh, I'll probably be back in a few weeks, um, kind of give you an update on where I'm at. Um, like I say, uh, I'll probably have to take this, start taking these things off to, to spruce and kind of... Um, test fitting them and, and making sure that they all uh, fit well and um, that uh, like say and maybe like say see what I have to do like um, I'm, I'm under no 
I will be really surprised if this thing fits together uh, very well. Like I say, I, I'm guessing, I'm guessing I'll have to make some kind of modifications or, or a lot of uh, putty work or seam filling things like that. Uh, but uh, we'll see when uh, we go. And like I said, I'm going to definitely as well to kind of check this thing out and see how other people have approached it, um, cause as on kind of some of the detailings and all that, and uh, kind of go from there uh, with that as well. So. Uh, you say this should be uh this looks like it's gonna be a fun build like not a lot of pieces it's, um the painting doesn't look like overly detailed again like say I bought this blue paint but I'm not sure um if it's uh will be dark enough or not uh you know so I have to see if there's maybe a more appropriate blue or maybe I'll have to mix this with a bit of black or something like that and kind of get it to the color I want uh, we'll have to see so um like I say, it's going to be a fun model, and uh, like I say, again, uh, apologies for uh, taking so long to get this video out, and um, like I say, I'll be back in a few weeks, and uh, I guess uh, we'll, we'll cover it off more, and uh, like I say, show you where I'm at. And anyways, I'd like to uh, thank everyone uh, for your continued support of the Sequest podcast that uh, me and Rick uh, really enjoy doing. And uh, like I say, if you have any comments, you can always contact us at uh, jeff at sequestpodcast.com or rick at sequestpodcast.com as well, too. Uh, you can hit us up at sequestpodcast.com or you can go to our Facebook uh, page, sequestpodcast.com, and uh, leave us a, a message there. So anyways, uh, thanks for watching this video and uh, have a great day.